Now this is a quite easy problem. This says we have a circular loop of radius r and that is bent along the diameter. So let us say uh, this is a circular loop. So this circular loop I have and along the diameter it is bent. So this is the diameter along which we are going to bend this time uh, the circle. So circular loop is bent along the diameter. Okay, so if you bend something like this, so it will look something like this. So now it will be in two plane. So it's slightly difficult to make, but it will look in two plane. So this circular loop is basically bent along this diameter. So this is the diameter along which this circular loop has been bent. And now this bented loop have been kept here. So this is the bented circular loop. Question says one part is KLM, another loop is KNM. The KLM loop lies in YZ plane. So this is my YZ plane. And this KNM lies in XZ plane. So half of the loop lies in XZ plane, half of the loop lies in YZ plane. Now question says if a charged particle is thrown here with a velocity v not i with a minus v not i you see here the question says the charge particle of charge q is kept at the origin and is thrown by a velocity minus v not i what will be the force of this particle As assume that the space is gravity free but to find force if you remember that is qb cross v so only point is i have to find magnetic field so what is the magnetic field at this point the, we have to find magnetic field are getting or not. So if you see the magnetic field due to this wire, this is the half of the wire, half of the circular wire, due to this magnetic field will be in the minus x direction. Did you agree or not? You see, if you flow a current in this way and use the right handed rule, so magnetic field line will flow in this way. So this is the direction of flow of magnetic field lines. Magnetic field line will run along this wire. So I do something like this, then I will have my current should advance this way. So this, at this point, due to KLM, magnetic field is inside, that is minus x direction. So now I can write magnetic field due to KLM, and this is in the minus direction. So let us put the sign first, minus i. And what is the magnitude? This is the half of the circle. The full of the circle have magnetic will be mu naught by 2r. So half of the circle mu naught i divided by 4r. So this is your magnetic field you will have. Are you getting or not? Now let us find due to this half of another circle k and m. So this is the k and m. So you have due to this circle, what will be the direction? So the current is going up. So this is possible only if you flow the magnetic field line something like this. Are you getting on So in this case, magnetic field line, this is coming from here, this is coming up, that is in the y direction, plus j direction. Are you getting on So due to this, magnetic field is in the j direction. Did you agree or not? Try to visualize yourself. So if the current is going forward, I have to fold my thumbs in such a way fingers in such a way, my thumb should advance forward. So this is by the direction of thumb. So from here the current is coming up, magnetic field is coming up. So at the origin, the magnetic field is coming up, this was J direction. So plus J. So K and M. So K and M. So magnetic field due to K and M. This is again plus J direction. So I can write mu naught I divided by 4r and this is plus j direction. So what is the total magnetic field? So total magnetic field I can write at origin be total at origin and this is easy to find. Are you getting or not? So be total at origin we can now write. So this is mu naught i by 4r because magnitude is constant and this is minus i plus z. Now we have to calculate force. So force is nothing but QV cross B.
and the question gives you v that is minus v not i you say here this is minus v not i so this is the force a velocity you have minus v not i so this is minus v not i so this is the v cross b what is v that is mu not i by 4 r and v is minus i plus z now you see here if you multiply this let us say q v naught and mu naught i by 4 r is a constant term i can take this outside and now multiply minus sign if i take inside so i cross i minus z and i cross i is 0 and i cross z is k so this is here you have So now I can write this is mu naught i q v naught divided by 4 r and i cross i is 0 and i cross j is k so this is minus k so this is the total force you will have now let us discuss the next part of the question so next is I find the external if the external unit power field vz is applied determine the magnetic forces F1 and F2 now the next part so we are applying any form magnetic field in the y direction so that is external magnetic field is applied in the z direction other is z direction or y direction so this is something like this so we have to calculate what is the force acting on this two loop now we will use some superposition principle so what I will do is I can replace this loop something like a if I apply a current in this way, so let us say I have to use, so let us first discuss KLM loop. So KLM loop. So we will discuss KLM first. So this is my loop. So what I will do is, so this part carries a current I. So this carries a current I in this direction. So now I can replace this loop with a wire. So if I add a current in this direction, similarly I add another current in opposite direction. So this is same. So something like this you will have. Uh -huh. So something like this. So there is a current. Okay, I am not making this one. now it's okay so I can replace with there is no current in this region so I can replace a two wire one wire that has current in this direction one wire that has current in this direction now this will make a loop so on loop in magnetic field the total current is zero now I have to apply the find out the total force only in this wire so let us try to see what I am doing so if I apply along this km line if I add a wire in this direction as well as in this direction so in this direction I will have a buyer and another buyer I will have in this direction are you getting now if I add these two buyers and that carries current I so this wire so this completes a complete loop so this is the downward thing it completes a complete loop so no force so now I have to only count the force on this the, the km wire are you getting or not so this the delta l will be 2 2 r this is the diameter so delta l will be 2 r and the direction is minus k direction so for km so let us apply first apply force on klm so force on klm so now i am interested in force on klm so for this part delta L vector this will be 2R and this is minus K direction so let us try to verify again so length is 2R length is 2R and this is in this direction because this part completes a loop so this is in minus K direction now if we see for KNM so KNM again apply the same idea you apply one current in this direction again apply a current in this direction 
and this part completes a loop. So no forces. One you to do this current that is again rotating or not. So this part completes a loop. You see the and then I will have a one due to this. So again in this case you will have two r minus k is the delta l minus two r and this is for k and m. So this is for k and m. So I am interested in force on K and M. So in this case, delta L is again 2R minus K cap. Now let us find force on K and M delta L cross B. So I is I and delta L is 2R minus K. Cross B. B is applied in the vertical direction. That is the B into Z. So this becomes how much? So we will have two R I B and K cross Z is what? So we have K cross Z. So you see this is I and this is Z and this is K. So K cross Z. K cross Z. This is opposite. So this is going positive. This is K cross Z minus I. So minus I minus. So this is becomes plus I. So this is plus I. Similarly, we can find out the force on K and M. And the everything is same. I is same. Delta L is same and B is same. So force is again same. That is 2 R I B. And this is along the i direction, that is positive x-axis. Question also says calculate the total force in the loop. So total force you will have if you add these two forces to r i b plus to r i b, that is 4 r i b. So this is the total force you will have. Somebody can thinks like total force should be zero. It is not zero here. So we have already discussed if you have a closed loop in a uniform magnetic field, total force is zero. But this time total force is not zero. Why this is so? This is a closed loop. You see here, this is a closed loop. So it should be zero, but not zero. Why not so? This is because this is exactly not a closed loop. You see this in this wire, in this part of the wire, the current is going in this direction. And again in this part, the current is going in this direction. If you want a closed loop, so what you will have to have, this goes in this direction and again current in this wire goes in this direction. So current should complete a closed loop. Here current is not completing a closed loop. And that's why this total force is not zero.